Um, I'm just going to start the recording. Um, well, thank you everyone for coming. I uh, really appreciate you being able to make it. Um, uh, as a reminder, these meetings are recorded, um, and uh, we'll uh, we'll um, we post them online for people who couldn't make it. Um, I think uh, the first thing we should probably do is kind of have Beta go through the uh, the recommendation from CZNIC for our location, uh, and then we will uh, kind of make uh, a final call on on whether to go forward with that. So. Do you want me to share my screen better, or do you want to do it yourself, or it's up to you? Uh, I am not sure if I know how to do it, so please. I'll, I'll, I'll do it then. No problem. With the presentation, it would be nice. Thanks. Sounds good. All right. Okay, so so last time we, we talked about um, selection of the, the, that I should propose one final like, proposal for, for the venue, and uh, from what I got was that one of the major like points that should be taken into account is the price that we are mm -hmm. not uh, the budget is limited so we definitely don't have to go over twenty thousand US dollars mm -hmm. and possibly be as low as possible while still keeping um, let's say keeping it uh, close to the center and uh, and well reachable by public transportation and so on. Mm -hmm. So in the in the end, my colleagues came up with a venue that wasn't on the proposed list that I sent last time. Mm -hmm. uh, simply because uh, from from that list, uh, most of the venues were either more expensive than we could afford. Mm -hmm. Or there was the university, but there it wasn't possible to to book it on uh, for for the days we need for uh, Thursday and uh, Friday because mm -hmm. it's simply not available those days. And one other place which was also like okay budget wise uh, is located slightly outside the. I would say the perimeter that is interesting for for tourists and that is also like well reachable from the airport. So, in the end, we decided for something else. Uh, I think the decision is uh, very interesting. It has several several interesting points. The price is, I would say, quite okay. It's somewhere about si around sixteen thousand uh, US dollars. Uh, including including catering, which as you will see on the next slide, is uh, uh, the probably the largest or mm -hmm. definitely the largest uh, part of the budget. Uh, that is because it simply costs some some money to to feed people for a whole two days mm -hmm. uh, when we have when we plan to have 150 participants. Uh, I think what is very interesting about this hotel, it's not a like a very large one, uh, and the, because it's not directly in the in the center, but I know ten minutes ten minutes by tram from from the very center, the prices per night are very very nice. It's something around sixty sixty US dollars, or even even less uh, per night. Uh, which I think might be very interesting for uh, for people, especially from people from the from the community who don't have their uh, like trip uh, paid by by their employer. So this is one of the interesting points. Uh, also, it has I would say the the, um, the actual uh, the actual play. Is that we, where we would be has uh, definitely the capacity to hold hold us. Uh, they normally have. Uh, I don't know if there is a the plan included. I have seen a small plan of a, of a possible possible like arrangement. You can see it here on the uh, on the center uh, center picture. This is the this is the actual like room where we would stay for the first day 
uh, uh, and uh, you can see that there are tables with chairs and in this organization with also with tables we it could uh, hold something like 160 people if we use also the surrounding like play, uh, space mm -hmm. so uh, there is definitely enough room we can also rearrange it by removing some of the tables and have like chairs only uh, as we had uh, last time and then we we could be able to expand to 200 or more people if it's like if, if you get more attendees mm -hmm. than we expect right now. So I think in this it's it's quite okay. Uh, it's also for the second day we also have uh, four like smaller meeting rooms booked. So this is also uh, okay. And uh, the place is uh, well reachable by by metro from. If you, if you go from, from the airport, then it's di on the, directly on the green line, which is the one that you would use to go to the, to the, to the airport. So it's, it's quite okay. And from, from our experience, it's, it's nice. We didn't do any like larger uh, meetings there yet, but we have, uh, we, we did a few small ones there and we also uh, have um, one of our offices there in the in the building, smaller offices, and it's the hotel is quite quite okay. It's nothing like um, posh, so to say, but it's it's very nice, especially for the price. Mm -hmm. So I, I think this this venue is interesting. It, it it fits it fits the budget, and it's still uh, I, I don't think. We still didn't have to do uh, like compromises when it comes to uh, to, to the equipment and to to, uh, uh, to, the, to the catering and and anything to the placement and so on. So I think it's a good like good match for what we what we need. Okay. Well. That that's good. I I think I think this is a really good job. Um, I actually did a did a short budget. We can um, kind of assumption, uh, but we will we'll look into. I think this this will probably fit pretty well into that. So okay. Um, that is this is great. I think. Okay. I I was told that in case we wanted to come down uh, on the price. A little bit more. Uh, we could uh, maybe do something with the catering. There is a. They have their own restaurant that is publicly available uh, during lunches. So we could instead of of having a lunch like for ourselves, we could mm -hmm. be with, with other guests in this restaurant. But it would. I, I'm not sure how how big a cost reduction it would be, mm -hmm. and it would like mean that we wouldn't be be alone there maybe the discussions during the lunch and so on wouldn't be so uh, so convenient because we yeah. would be mixed with other people and so on so i i don't think we should go for this compromise but we could do it if if, if we simply don't have enough money we, there is still some, some uh, something we can like shave off of the price definitely no i think that's an i think it's a good point Right. Yeah, I, th I think this looks good. Any other comments or thoughts? Yeah, this is calculated for 150 people, or for how many did you calculate? Especially for the catering services, probably depends on the. Yes, this is this is for 150 people. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, is there some some space like um, in front of the uh, big meeting room, so like like the hallway or whatever? Uh, there's some yeah. Normally you have these, these talks between people, uh, especially when I, there's I, I, know, I know I know what you mean. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the the actual layout of the surrounding space but I can I can get some information about that there definitely are 
smaller meeting rooms which we will use for the second day. So maybe if if we find out that uh, it's uh, we, we can we can maybe arrange to have I don't know one or two of them uh, booked even for day one so that. Uh, some like side meetings could be held there, but there there probably is some space even like in front of the of this room because uh, I was told that the lunch will be served just outside the room and it will be separated from the rest of the hotel. So there probably is such a space. I don't know how large, but if if we if it's enough for for lunch, then probably it's okay. But I can get yep. back to you uh, during the, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or the day after with some, some more detailed plan about how it looks like around this. Yeah, but that sounds good, so at least I'm convinced. <laughs> Any other uh, thoughts or comments? All right. Uh, do we want to have a have a vote to go ahead with this this hotel? All right. Uh, I'm well, for. <laughs> yes, I'm for it too. Cameras for it. I guess everybody else. Are are you in favor of this option? All right. Okay, I assume you're you're in favor of it. Yes, I'm in favor of it. Yes. Okay. Federico, are you here? Can you hear us? All right. Well, I guess we will we will go ahead with the hotel. Uh, how do I pronounce it? Better. Olshanka. 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 Yes. Awesome. I will try to remember that. It was great. I think this this is fan, you did a fantastic job. And I think this this very this fits very well and we can if we need to adjust we can, but it, it seems like like this is uh you know should be pretty good. So this is great. Thank you, Beto. Um, you are welcome. That's very good. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about in here in this um or is there other stuff in here or uh, yes, actually, a okay. few a few questions that came okay. up when we when we discussed it. Mm -hmm. I think for some of them it's it's maybe too early. Uh, for instance, one of the the arrangement of the seating in the in the room, if if we want to have tables or just chairs, uh, and so on, because usually when we do do meet when we do conferences, we have at least part of the room also with tables so that people who come with notebooks and so on can put them in front of them. But on the other hand, what I have seen during the first two, two summits, uh, there were no, no tables and there also was no like, mm, no, there were no power cords. And I, I think it really helped uh, people to concentrate on the on the actual like stuff that is going in front of them uh, on, the, on the presentations because otherwise people tend to check their emails and, and uh, I know right Facebook updates and whatever mm -hmm. uh, so I think maybe we could even though we can have tables and, and so on maybe we could uh, like do without them anyway simply to have more focused audience and and so on. But I, again, this is maybe too early to, or, or definitely it's too early to, to, to decide it. I just wanted to say that the options are there and mm -hmm. we should think about it, how, how we would like to organize it. Yeah, definitely. I think that's that's a that's a fair point. We, we, we should think about that. I think it's too early, but definitely I, I kind of uh, might be a good idea to I don't know, mull in people's heads uh, until we get there. But mm. 
definitely until until we get to the point where we need to decide that. I mean. Okay. Awesome. And uh, other two or maybe even three things. Mm -hmm. uh, you are talking about internet connectivity. Uh, there is no there is Wi-Fi provided by the hotel, mm -hmm. uh, and I think what we could expect from it is like what you would normally have in, in a hotel. So nothing nothing fancy, no gigabit speeds, um, just simple simple Wi-Fi that is, so that you can check email, look, um, browse websites, and so mm -hmm. on. Uh, do you think that we actually need something more, maybe for the second day, for for the like hacking session or has hacking has hacking sessions or code sprints? Do we need more connectivity, or is it okay? Will will people need? What what's your expectation about this? Okay, do do you need something special, or are you happy with just? Uh, do we using Git from GitHub and that's all? Well, I mean, I suspect that the second day it's going to be a little more difficult on the standard Wi-Fi. I mean, it all depends on. I mean, for every hotel, standard Wi-Fi is seems different. So. Um, yeah, that's true. Definitely. It, it's hard to know. Uh, I would suspect that we're going to have to that the second day is going to be more intensive and like particularly if you if you get a situation where people are coming and um well I mean one one thing we could do is hey if someone wants to say hack on on the you know the the open WRT or lead repository you know please get it before you come Otherwise, this is going to go really slow for everyone. Um, but we might also try to arrange with the hotel some, and know to have to have I know a few few switches uh, in the rooms for mm -hmm. like wired connectivity if someone needs it. But this will, this is probably not like included in in the offer, mm -hmm. and uh, you would have to. Arrange it beforehand with them. Mm -hmm. uh, this is why I am asking. It might also influence the price. I'm not sure how how fast, uh, mm, how much of their like bandwidth they would be uh, able or willing to share with us or to dedicate to us. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. What are? Do you have any feedback on this? If you're speaking, I can't hear you, Hauke. Okay. Neither can I. You are um, muted. Um, yeah, I think you should probably just look into that and kind of get a sense on that one because that's a pretty important. I don't want to have to have a situation where we're basically all there at the technical day and nobody can do anything. Um, yeah, Because that's not, that's not good for anyone. Okay. Okay. I will. I will try to get some more information about what they can offer, and also mm. uh, ask them about how how complicated it would be for them to provide us with some with some fire, wired uh, connectivity. It's also no problem for us to provide it ourselves uh, mm -hmm. if we know it beforehand. So we can we can just bring a few few like. Switches, small, small table, table. Okay. Switches yeah. And so on. Definitely. So, okay, so I will, I will get some info on this. And if we had to, we could, we could certainly um, use. Uh, if we had wired connection, we could certainly use a couple uh, tourist routers and tourist Omnia routers. Yeah, yeah, we'll be good. That was also my idea that we could maybe use. That. Awesome. Uh, okay. Then uh, another question is: mm -hmm. uh, we we would need uh, the people to to register, and this is something we didn't discuss before. Mm -hmm. uh, and 
Uh, I, I think last time it was it was provided by by the ELCE. Mm -hmm. Nowadays we would have to deal with it ourselves. And I found out that even though we have some kind of registration system, it's only used for our own uh, our own stuff and it cannot be easily like configured for this for this thing so we would have to deal with it ourselves somehow I think maybe we can just go with with Google Docs but I'm not sure uh, is it okay um yeah I mean we I think someone we, at purple we can figure this out I mean I think we can use like there's there's a number of those systems out there for event registration and and things like that um, so yeah I, I don't think it's a it's a huge issue but no, it is definitely something that has to be considered okay I just wanted to, to, to let you know that this is unfortunately something that we cannot provide like okay as part of the package so to say but oh. we, we will have to deal with it uh, on our like for the for the summit mm -hmm. definitely okay and I and one more thing cropped up in my mind as we were talking but I forgot it again so <laughs> no problem I think it was something maybe it will come back and uh, I will let you know okay well that sounds good um yeah, well, I think you're doing a. This is this is spectacular. I mean, really happy with this. I, I I think other people would agree with that. This this is a really good job. So, thank ah, you very now much. Came, now it came back. Okay. <laughs> back. Uh, last time we discussed the number of rooms that we would like to have like reserved for for our needs. Uh, is there any any update on this does anybody have some like because we were like well you we know probably it should be something like I don't know 100 150 but uh, so I was just wondering if someone has some like more specific numbers maybe from from other conferences or something if there is someone who has experience with this um, uh, one thing that came that, that, that I realized is that mm -hmm. when if, because we are just after ELCE, mm -hmm. maybe people who will come for ELCE will not move from one hotel to the other. They will stay in the first one they, mm -hmm. they are. So for these people, we probably don't need to have um, like reserved rooms. Well, one question would be, do we... Uh, is there a need to reserve the rooms? As in, like, are they going to run out? Um, mm, I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, I think. It, it, well, I think it, it wouldn't hurt to to like reserve them, and it should. It, it is not a problem for the hotel to to reserve the rooms for us. Mm -hmm. If we, it, but they they cannot do it like indefinitely. It cannot be reserved until the very day of the summit they will have to give us some deadline mm -hmm. and after that they will free the rooms so Understandable. I, I think maybe we can we can like reserve some amount of rooms okay and give them then uh, and say to people okay but you have you have to reserve it I know one month before otherwise we will the rooms will not be available anymore or they will. We can. We cannot guarantee that they mm -hmm. will be available. Okay. Is it okay. I think we will let people know well in advance, so they should. There shouldn't be a problem. Definitely. No, I. I think that that is. Uh, the number. I. I. I really don't know yet. I don't. I don't. Okay. Um. I think a hundred sounds too many, but I. I think that that's. Um. That's a possibility. I mean, I think it's it's a hundred or less would be the would be the correct. Okay. Assumption. Okay. Um. Yeah, but I mean, we can we can talk some more and kind of estimate a little better. That's just kind of my ballpark figure right now. Okay. 
All right. We'll kind of you look into that. I'll, I'll talk to to Kathy. Maybe she has a better sense than that. She's not here right now, so. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. 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 Anything else, Beta? No, I think it's it's all from now that I need to need to know. I just wanted to like maybe get more more sense from the other like working groups. How how is it going with uh, with sponsorship? Uh, what what are our thoughts about uh, about yeah, about the whole whole business of of getting getting the money. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm actually going to have a budget that I came up with. Um, it's great. a very early budget, but I think it's it's going to give us a sense. Um, so, I kind of uh, came up with an initial budget just to try to get numbers that make sense. Excuse me. Um, so. Uh, I looked at this, and uh, my thought is that we could get one sponsor at $5,000. Um, I think Purple could probably handle that one, uh, is likely. Uh, a, goal, a goal of getting five sponsors at $1,000, which is $5,000, and another goal of getting 10 sponsors at, at $500. Um, those could be like tables or something like that. Um, if we can get that, that's fifteen thousand dollars right there. Um, realistically, I think unfortunately we're going to have to have ticket sales. I don't see how this makes how the numbers really add up. Um, otherwise, uh, so I put down fifty dollars, which is a fairly minimal amount, and I say that with fifty dollars that are um, we would certainly give tickets to, you know, I mean, core members would get them at zero cost. It's not something we're going to be charging them. But primarily, uh, when I look at this, I, I say, okay, who the people that are coming to this event, uh, by and large, are, um, or not by and large, but a large portion of them are from companies, they can afford $50 tickets. Um, and if you have 150 of those, that's $7,500, which is a really significant amount of money when we're talking about uh, covering costs. And at that, I come up with revenue of $22,500. Um, so I looked at kind of like the expenses, and this is a little off because the location is going to be a little more expensive. Um, so for travel, I assumed that we would have five speakers who would require travel uh, expenses, um, and, and those would be about $800 each. Um, and that's kind of round, even because there's going to be people in Europe who need who who may need travel um, costs covered. So that's going to be a little less. And people who are from outside the U.S. or from outside Europe are going to need more. In some of those cases, we may want to limit how much we do simply to um, try to, you know, so it, it's not like we had travel expenses for someone last year. It was twenty two hundred dollars, which was. Uh, probably not something we want to cover quite that much. It's not normal to cover that quite that much. Um, and the hotel for speakers would be uh, would be 200 was my estimate. And with what it looks like, it'll be less than that. It'll be it'll be like half of that per person. So with those numbers, I'm getting um, the expenses are 16,000. That doesn't take into account the um, uh, any of the uh, the social event, um, and those type of things. Uh, do we feel that this is a reasonable budget to kind of work off of, more or less? And do we feel that we can get sponsor that number of sponsors? Well, I'm not sure. I I, I think Kathy and I don't know who else was there in the part of the committee who should take care of, of sponsorship. I, I'm um, on that in Paul's yeah, on that as well, yes. Paul. Okay, uh, okay, so I, I, well, from my point of view, yeah, it's, it's definitely possible that we will get them. I'm not sure. 
uh, when it comes to the sponsors at five thousand uh, dollars uh, do you think it should be limited to one like the general sponsor or this is just your estimate that we will not get more than one which will be purple um we can have more certainly i, I don't think okay, it's, so, it's a... so that's not okay so it's not limited it's not like no. there can be only one yes like, the top paying sponsor there can be more okay yeah absolutely i i'm just kind of thinking like what if i look at the $5000 i'm like well what do i realistically think how many people we're going how many members we're going to get and i'm like uh -huh. okay and I'm like, man, eh, one's probably pushing it, and purple would probably be the one that would do that. Um, if it was, you know, at a thousand, I can say, eh, maybe we can find about five, five people or okay, five okay. companies. But I mean, it can be more than all with all these, and it'd be great if it would be more. Um, that would help cover the cost, and we would be able to do a little more, and hopefully um, move the, you know, help pay for additional, you know, covering costs for additional people and things like that. So. Okay. I have I, I have one one thing that I wanted to maybe propose or discuss, and that's that is I think it might be interesting for especially for companies who will be sending people there to be able to have booths uh, at the premises at, at the venue so that they can show off their their projects and so on. Yes. And these might be like paid for, we would require payment for the, for mm -hmm. for the companies to have the booth there, and this could uh, improve, I think, the, maybe the budget situation. It could either be part of of some like of the package for at one thousand dollars, but it could also be extra. Like if you want a booth, it's I don't know one one thousand dollars extra for mm -hmm. for this. Yes, that one of my thoughts was was the sponsors at five hundred dollars. Those could be booths, but I mean we can also huh? adjust that. What I, I don't know what we think is a is a reasonable number, and I, I still need to. I think one of the things is what benefits you get at each of these sponsorship levels. I have not okay. gone into that level of detail, but I think one of those is certainly booths because I think that will huh? be a a uh, a relatively popular one. Yes, I. Own also think that there there will be interest in having a booth there, so I think we can use it to to get to to some some money. Definitely, definitely. Um, okay, can you hear me right now? Uh, yes. So yeah, yeah, I wasn't was interrupted by someone else. Yep, no problem. Um. I know early on when the first time we did the did the summit there was a lot of um the the idea of ticket sales was sensitive and I think it probably is still sensitive How, is there a way that we can justify this to make sure that the community is not going to be offended because we're simply doing this because otherwise the numbers really don't add up um uh, based upon what we can, you know, I don't see how we're going to have enough enough revenue to cover yeah, yeah, cost. Yeah, yeah. I see it. So um, if it's really just fifty US dollar, I think it should be okay. Okay. Um, if you think there are some ways that we should, I don't know, not say, um, not spin it. I don't want to use that word because it's not. We're not spinning it. We're just be like pointing out that. You know, why we're doing this? I don't want I don't want people to be thinking we're trying to make money. Which, if you look at the budget, clearly we're not doing that, and um, it, it's really just to cover cost. And I think, you know, and we're certainly make very clear that you know if you're a member of the core team, and particularly if your company is not going to pay for it, like you're getting in free. We we don't. This is not. We're not trying to take money from you because you're valuable, and um, so. Any help, I guess, and, and some thoughts on that, if you have any, or want to think it over on how we can quite, uh, you know, tweak how we how we announce that and, to people. So I think the Linux Foundation has this, um, um, at least some time ago, they had this hacker um, or student sponsorship, or mm -hmm. I think then you get a reduced rate when you are, <clears throat> um, yeah, not... 
um, affiliate with, with, with some company or yep. something like this. Um, I think they did it officially, at least I used the student things once. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one could do something similarly or do something like this when you have at least uh, committed one one patch and you get in free or but I don't know how many people will then uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely I think I think the way to to handle this is we certainly when we start getting to the point where we announce what the price is we certainly have to have the the free version or the you know what the policy is ready and I mean we yes. we know who we generally know who's on the core team and it's not going to be very heavy for them to um, core team as well as other you know important community members who who aren't being covered by anyone else. Um, yes. So, okay. If if you so have any, much was, Eric, how much was the um, you paid some uh, travel the last times? Uh, how much did you so for speakers and um, uh, members? How how much do you know some roundabout number? What how much it cost? Travel is extremely expensive. Um, last year, in the past, we've spent over ten thousand dollars on travel. Um, the thing is that we were very uh, generous with travel, and we we kind of pretty much said like, as long as you had a, it, we like we had somebody who who they they booked their their uh, travel like a week before, and it was twenty two hundred dollars for tickets. And we cover okay. that. We can't do that this year. I mean, it needs. To, we're probably going to have to have limits for. And for the core team is by and large in Europe anyway, so it's not like the travel costs are like ridiculous for that. Um, yes. So we we might have a like some sort of limit or. Um, I've heard of other conferences saying, well, if you're not in Europe, you would you can apply, but for a, a limited amount, but. I don't know if I'd want to get into that situation where we're saying, well, despite the fact that you're a core team member, because you're in Europe, you're not getting any any travel covered. Um, I don't really want to do that if we don't, unless we're you know desperate, I guess. But I don't see that right now as happening. Um, so we can you know we can talk a little bit about how to tweak that. But yeah, travel okay. was a massive amount. Um, okay. In the past. Well, considering that you said that you spent uh, twice as much only on travel last year yeah. as, as Purple is willing to put the whole business this year, it's really a, a huge difference. In, yes. In yeah. And, and I'm I'm just putting five thousand dollars as a as a number. Purple. I mean, they're also going to cover me and my travel and okay. my time. So it's. And we, and I can probably you know get get more money out, but I'm just saying that seems like a number that I could easily go to Art and be like, okay, we're gonna spend five thousand dollars. He'll be like, okay, yeah, that that sounds like a number that makes sense, and that's not a problem. I'm not gonna have to go to a ton of work to argue that. So, um, and yeah, definitely, if we want if we want to have more sponsors at five thousand dollars, spectacular. That would be that would be great. Um, I think I think we should do our best to get as many sponsors as possible. Yes. And try to avoid the whole whole problem or the whole topic of tickets, uh, or I mean, at least re reduce it to to the to the point where it would would be a non non issue for people to pay for the tickets. For instance, if, if we could have something like I know, ten dollars for like individuals and fifty dollars for people coming from companies, then I think it's it's okay. Nobody will like see it as a problem. If we, in case we want fifty dollars from from like norm, normal people, then it might already seem, from at least from my point of view, uh, like yeah. Uh, what, what what I'm thinking about is that. Uh, we we have made several changes this year. One of them is that we will not do it as part of the ELCE, mm -hmm. um, and we will do it for two days and so on. 
and uh, I'm not sure. And now we, we we are introducing, I would say, unpopular things like you have to pay for tickets and uh, so on. So uh, I'm wondering how we will explain it to the people that. Uh, I'm slightly afraid that they will just say, okay, so why didn't you do it like last time? We didn't have to pay for anything. It was it was like part of the ELCE and, and everything was great. So, Well, I mean, we can – we probably don't want to say we have less budget. I mean, but that, that is true. Um, the other thing is we can make the point that simply it's two days now. Um, it, it, in the past, it was always one day, okay. which we found was way, you know, people are rushing and you, you couldn't get everything in and there was, you know, we didn't have a technical day. So if you look at that, I mean, you're talking $25 a day. I mean, that's, it's, if you look at any conference, like, you know, if you went to ELC, I and mean, that's like, you know, $800 a person. Um, mm, okay. Yeah, right. Well, right. So I, we're, we're, we're trying the other advantage of having some tickets and, and I'm not saying 50 is the number. It doesn't have to be. I'm just, that was the number I kind of like, it makes the numbers work out is, is but yeah. um, if we have more sponsorship, it can be less. One of the advantage of having at least some amount is that we had the problem with ELCE in the past and, and, and in open WRT, the both open WRT summits is that, we had a lot of people who signed up who didn't come mm, and that, yeah, that that's true. and that and you know like last year i think it was it was over 50% of people who signed up did not come so we're buying catering for most of those people and we're you know it's a huge waste of money for no for no gain at that point um and you know you're going – I've been told numerous times, like, free events, like, assume that of the people that sign up that it's going to be, like, you know, 40% are not going to come. Um, yeah, definitely. We have the same experience. This is why I would, I think we, we should definitely keep some mm -hmm. some entry, entry fee, but mm -hmm. try to reduce it uh, to the point where it would be more like, okay, just – just a gesture more. Yes. So, okay, but uh, um, maybe on another note, one of the things that we were talking about is that if we would do some T-shirts, mm -hmm. we will find out that some kind of budget for the T-shirts is also part of the proposal that I have said, sent. Yes. So I think this is one of the things that we can say, like, okay, well, one of the things that you will get for your 50 bucks is that you will get, like, a, I don't know, a, you get a T-shirt. Yeah, you get a T-shirt and maybe some other swag, like from the from the sponsors, uh, and so on. I, I, I because, for instance, I, I, I think Stephen probably will also be willing to give some some mm -hmm. swag. Swag is is often a a good way to also give uh, sponsorship for benefits for sponsorship is like you know if you go to any of these big conferences you get a swag bag filled with tons of stuff. That is, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, uh, definitely, that's that's another way to look at that. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Just maybe a question: uh, What's the what's the timeline, so to say, for getting sponsors on board? Um, I would have to say in the next two to three months we would have to really get there. Um, and that. But when I say it like that, and that makes me realize how quickly I have to work on the, the sponsorship plan, because um, I've only done a, a very brief kind of thoughts on it. But um, I'll set up a time with um, Kathy uh, to really talk through it. And if there's other people that want to help with the sponsorship, um, please do. I know that Paul was going to help, but he's going to be out um, for at least the next few weeks. I, he's he's going to be on vacation. so. Um, any additional help that 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 people want to provide or that would be very helpful in, in like working through that um, definitely uh, okay. but, but, uh, I have one like good news probably when okay. it comes to sponsorship uh, we will pay for the social so CZNIC will be sponsoring the social 
that is fantastic. That will make it very. I did not put that on the expense, but yes, that is also a significant expense as well. So. Yeah. So so this this is covered. I already have some uh, some venue that. I will probably show, we will have to work on it a mm -hmm. little bit more, but uh, there is a very interesting menu that we could use for the social, and mm -hmm. so this is something we don't have to like, take care of okay. as part of the business. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Beta. You're welcome. Unfortunately, yeah, you on my probably... Side. What was Sorry. that? Okay. Uh, yes. Also, thank you from my side, Fabius. No problem. Thank you. It's, it just means that we probably wouldn't be like getting into any other like sponsorship uh, that we will not sp sp sponsor this uh, as a as a sponsor. I know for thousand dollars because yeah, we will That's put the money into into the social and so on. But, Definitely, that's a significant expense. Definitely, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's probably the five thousand dollars sponsor kind of thing. So, um, that's great. Um, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, if there's anybody else who wants to help with a sponsorship plan, please do let me know, um, and we can. We would certainly appreciate the help. Uh, anything else that we want to talk about with the budget right now? No. All right. Um, all right. Um, then we can move to the tasks. Uh, these are done. Um, how do I want to? Well, I'm not going to mark them. Um, the sponsorship programs and ticket pricing I've already evaluated. Proposed budget. I'm there. Uh, recruit sponsorships. Sponsors can't. Can't do that until I have a plan. Uh, uh, research technical day event locations. Um, I guess we don't need the locations, uh, but uh, the details. Uh, we'll talk with Federico. He's he was on before, but I don't think yet. I think he might have dropped off. Catering options done. Uh, the manage the OpenWT Summit website. Antonio, you had you had kind of said something about that. Would you like to you know share that? Uh, yes, uh, I've, I've added some updates and uh, I will send them soon. Uh, expect them throughout the rest of the week, but uh, I don't think I'll be adding any design changes, so perhaps uh, if, if anyone wants to help with uh, the page redesign, that would be great. All right, definitely. Yeah. Do we know anybody who's, who's, a, who's a good uh, UI designer? Um, preferably one who doesn't want to spend a lot, who, who won't cost anything. Um, if anyone knows anyone that could that could help with that, it certainly would be very appreciated. This the site works, but it's very limited, and it'd be nice to get. Uh, we've had requests in the past for you know getting information from previous years in there, and you know with a new year, it'd be nice to have a way to. Uh, Kind of separate it up into different years and get information. So, if anybody knows of anyone, please do uh, let me know. Um, thank you very much, Antonio. Uh, run and plan use of social networking accounts. I, Tamara, I got some stuff from you on that. I, I, ha I don't think I we emailed a little um, back and forth. Uh, do you have any other update on that? I'll go down to the bottom. Send you the docs you can share. Okay, I will. I will share that document. Um, I don't know if I did that. That's. that's I probably didn't. I apologize. I will send that out. Um, uh, as soon as as uh, this meeting's over, very soon after. Thank you very much, Tamara. Uh, we don't need to do too much speaker announcement, press release, or recruiting speakers. Uh, design logo. 
I don't know if I've actually talked with An Andre yet on this. Um, it, this, to be clear, awesome Tamra. Does is this does, is Andre a, a um, employee of um, Sartura or is he a contractor? How does this work? Uh, yes, uh, Eric. Uh, he's a contractor, and uh, we'll get in touch with him and okay. uh, send send. And I'll give you feedback as soon as we know more. Okay. Yeah, I I just didn't know what the situation was, and didn't want to be like you know. I yeah. So yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Recruit uh, key participants. We've done a little bit of that. I know that. Uh, I don't know how much you need to, we need to do right now, but um, I know that uh, uh, Hans has uh, has has done a bit of that already, and I know that the technical day was well received among. Um, I think he said he talked with Felix and. Uh, um, and John Crispin. So I know the technical day was very well received as an as an idea. So I, I know people are interested there. Uh, it don't don't know how much we need to do with that right now. But all right, uh, technical day, not too much needs to be done. About those no design T-shirts. Uh, it says here, uh, Beta, are you intending to work on the T-shirt design, or am I? Mm, yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, I think we would. Uh, yeah, we we do a lot of features for okay. for such events. So I I I think we will come up with something with by using the logo from Andre, maybe some motive from Prague. So that it's like yeah, we will I, I, we will definitely come come up with something. And definitely. I, I have it in mind to be able to. If you want to use any of the stuff we used last year, um, I have no okay. idea if you want to go with that. Uh, I'm, I can get you the source files as well. So. Okay, okay. Definitely. Great. All right. Let's see what Andre comes up with. Definitely. Definitely. Um, prepare event press releases. No. Manage day of event logistics. This, you did this. Um, don't you do that. Prizes, that's swag. Kathy would also help with that. And venue, I'm responsible for my own Diet Coke. Um, <laughs> I think that's everything we have. Uh, do we have any other um, topics or anything we need to discuss in the last three minutes? All right. Um, well, uh, Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, we will meet again in two weeks at the same time. That's the 19th. Um, and, uh, and a special thank you again to, to Betta on, on the work that, uh, that uh, you and the folks at CZNIC have done. It's been very helpful. So thanks on no getting this and, and working this through. Um, all right. I will uh, talk to everyone later then. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.